If you're looking to access and route the outputs of a multi-output plugin, you'll first need to wrap it in a rack. In this video, we're going to work through the process of setting up and routing a multi-output instance of Native Instruments Contact. Let's get started by creating a new, empty rack environment. Simply drag the plugin object onto the track, navigate to Plugin Racks, and then choose Create New Empty Rack. With the rack open, drag the plugin object into the red box. I'm going to load an instance of contact with 16 outs, but you can load any multi output instruments you have installed and follow along. I'm going to choose the auto connect option so that the audio outputs are created and routed automatically. You'll also notice that the red MIDI wires input and output are automatically connected. I'll now open up contact and load the drum lab instrument. If you're a contact user and following along, you may have to set up your outputs first. This is achieved by clicking on the plus sign here, raising the quantity to 8, choosing the sound card host output, checking ascending output assignment, and checking delete existing channels before creating new ones. Click OK and you'll notice the contact mixer is now set up and ready to go. Back in our edit, I'm going to name the tracks that we're going to route audio to. I'll start with Reverb, as the Drum Labs instrument hardwires this to output 1. Moving on, we have Kick, Snare, Hi-Hat, Toms, Stereo Overhead Microphones, mono overhead microphones and a mono room mic. Back in the rack, we can now add these tracks by clicking the plus sign here and then navigate into each of the tracks we just named. Notice how as we add tracks within the rack, a rack instance is added to each track back in the edit. It looks like the rack has attempted to route things for us, but in this case, it's not what I'm looking for. To quickly fix this, right click and choose Clear All Output Wiring. We can now manually work through connecting contacts outputs to each of our tracks in the edit. Once those are all connected, you'll need to assign the outputs of your multi-output plugin. In this case, I'll open Contact Backup and work through that process. In Drum Lab, I simply click on each drum and assign its output from a drop-down menu. So, starting with the kick, I'll assign its output to 2. Remember, output 1 is reserved for the reverb. I'll then route the snare to output 3, the hi-hat to output 4, I'll assign each of the toms to output 5, the stereo overhead to 6, the mono overhead to 7, and finally the room mic to output 8. I'll now close contact and test our setup using my MIDI controller to trigger each drum. When triggering the kick, we can see that it's correctly routed to the kick track in our edit. Reverb is also being routed, and we can now easily adjust this level from within the edit. Snare is correctly routed to snare, hi-hat to hi-hat, and toms to toms. We can see that the overhead and room mics are picking up all of these drum hits as expected. To demonstrate this a little better, I'm going to loop back a MIDI file so we can audition tracks as they play and make some adjustments. If you need to tweak the overall output level, this can be done here from within the rack. Once happy, we can save our entire multi-output setup for future recall. 
First, though, let's give our rack a name. Notice how each rack instance in our edit has updated, displaying the new name. Back in the edit, highlight each of the tracks that make up our multi-output setup. In the Properties panel, click Create Preset and then Whole Track. The Preset Details window allows us to name the preset, add a description and assign tags. Leaving Save Audio Preview checked will create an audio preview that can be auditioned from within the browser. Click OK to save. Let's now try loading this in a new empty edit. With the browser open, let's search for our multi-output drum setup. If we click on the preset, an audio preview can be heard. To load the preset, simply drag it onto a track in the edit and select Insert Track from Preset. If we open the rack, we can see that everything is set up correctly. And if we press play, we can see that the outputs are correctly routed to the tracks in the edit. Saving multi-output presets can be a huge time saver, especially if you work with the same plugins on a frequent basis. I hope this video has helped to get you up and running with multi-output plugins and has again demonstrated the power of Waveforms Rex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.